Hello everyone, Magnus Thor from uh, Team X Rockets here. I am about to show you a new demo um, that is based on WebRTC, X Rockets, and a fantastic JavaScript library called ImpressiveJS. Um, we are able, now able to, to um, access local devices such as cameras, microphones, etc using the WebRTC um, JavaScript APIs. Uh, first of all, uh, we will have a look at the first page here, uh, which is a page, yes, a simple web page, that uh, grabs the image stream of the camera uh, and connects to the WebSocket server and um, broadcasts the image stream to the listening sockets. Uh, so let us first of all start the uh, the socket. Let's see here if we open up um, the presentation. Then this is the presentation mode. Uh, the page listening to the uh, image stream broadcasted by the page I just showed you, uh, and you also see a some kind of slide deck, uh, and then still image up in the left corner. So let us now go back to the. Um, page where we were able to start, you will see now that the slide deck will subscribe to the image stream just sent by the, uh, the WebSocket, uh, from the WebSocket server just using JavaScript APIs. Um, we can have a quick look at the uh, XSocket WebSocket server and you can see that there's a, a large amount of data passed through the server uh, and you can see that it, it's updating quite rapidly. Um, left, uh, uh, close this window. Uh, as you see now, uh, we can navigate uh, through the slide deck using uh, the keyboard. And we're able to, to do this uh, and experience some kind of presentation. Uh, so let us also open up yet another window and place it on the on top of the other window. You can see that both windows subscribe to the same media stream broadcasted through the WebSocket server. Um, note that this is uh, maybe not the way you should do it. You should not broadcast data through the WebSocket as images. Uh, there are other ways to, to, to stream data, but this is just to, to show you uh, the power of WebRTC and WebSocket together. Um, if we now uh, click at this window, I'm using uh, entering the presentation mode. We're able to to share the the, the location within the uh, presentation, uh, the navigation in real time, uh, which enables people to follow uh, both the speaker in the video format as well as uh, me shifting uh, the slide decks. Uh, we also added uh, a uh, voting application uh, to the slide deck as you see here uh, we have two windows the uh, two windows containing the real-time voting and uh, this is a wishmo wishmo chart um, wishmo ui uh, and if we now click on the different talker players you can see that both of those presentations are updated in real time we can go back to the next slide and you can see that the impressive library of ImpressJS uh, shows the the, the, um, the Visma chart in the background in 3D. Uh, let us go back, place yet another vote. Uh, meanwhile, I'm doing this. You also can notice that we have uh, been able to listen to the to the media stream. Um, uh, this is pretty much the thing. Uh, this application contains of Free JavaScript APIs, uh, it's impressive JS, yes, the XSocket JS API, and the Wishmo uh, UI uh, components uh, widgets, as well as their fantastic JavaScript APIs. Uh, data are sent through the WebSocket server of XSockets, and uh, the media stream is captured using the Get User Media APIs, which we defined in the WebRTC uh, uh, framework. Uh, this is pretty much the thing. Uh, we will try to embed this um, example into the JavaScript APIs of um, XSockets uh, so that you are able to, to try it yourself uh, 
um, when time comes. Um, hopefully, we are able to do this in a couple of weeks, uh, just before the next cold camp. Thank you very much, and uh, it has been a pleasure.